Today is day two in Washington DC and just like day one we're gonna try to show you as much as we can but we will also split up different museums and food reviews. Today we are heading to Ford's Theater. I'm gonna try to do a separate video of that just don't know if they'll let you film it. We're gonna head to the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History. That'll be a separate video. We're gonna eat at a couple places also take the metro again and walk around. So, unfortunately, I think it's gonna be a very windy day. Cold. Cold day, kinda of like day one, but we will do our best at filming it. Let's go check it out. I don't think I'll really show much of the metro this morning since day one we kinda of showed you that, but that's where we are heading now. Just another view of what these shops look like. They have that theater that we showed in day one. It's in here. Now we are currently heading to the Metro to take it to Ford's Theater. It doesn't go all the way to Ford's Theater, but it's close enough. Made it off the Metro, so the next stop is Ford's Theater. So we're gonna try to do a separate video there. Here's what it looks like on this side of Washington, DC. We are about, I don't know, 500 feet from Ford's Theater. So up here we take a left and then we cross over and uh, we'll be there. Look at that church. Wow. All right, I think we're gonna turn right here. Oh yeah, we can, it's right here, look at this, Ford's Theater. We'll see if we can film here. I'm gonna think I'm gonna stop this video now and do a separate Ford's one. We just finished up at the Ford Theater, so now we are heading to our next stop. And um, we do have a reservation to eat at Old Ebbett Grill at 2.30. And as you walk along, there are plenty of places to find DC gifts at. This one across from Ford Theater is open Monday through Saturday, eight to eight, and Sunday, nine to seven. And they have a fair amount of items in here that uh, if you want some DC merch, you can get. Of course, we're gonna have to hit up Starbucks here in Washington, DC, so that is where we are gonna head before we go to our reservation. And the wind just picked back up again. Oof, that's sharp. Some of the buildings down here. And then Starbucks is gonna be right on up here. The one thing we've noticed about Washington DC though is it doesn't feel scary at all. There's plenty of little like places to eat. It is definitely cold today. It's supposed to be better tomorrow, but uh, you do quite a bit of walking. But if you take the Metro, it does help. We do have a McDonald's right here. And look at the steakhouse across the street. Now over here, they have Warner Theater. Made it down to Pennsylvania Avenue. Here's the Pennsylvania building. Over here we have a statue. And over here another theater that shows some uh, like Broadway shows. And some shoes up in the trees. Here's the old post office and clock tower. Here is the International Trade Center. Now over here is the Elephant and Castle, and we almost ate here on this trip, but uh, it just didn't work out, but it is a pub and restaurant lo that looks really cool. The old post office building and clock tower is now the Waldorf Astoria, which is gonna be very expensive, but I mean, look at it, it looks very nice. And on down the street, you can see the Capitol. Post Office Department, Benjamin Franklin Station. Oh, that wind's picking up again. Now we're in front of the Ronald Reagan Building and International Trade Center. There's Planet Oat, it's free coffee and breakfast. Don't know if you'll be able to hear this as we are walking and the wind's blowing, but we're gonna head to the back side of the White House just to see what it looks like on that side. And then got about an hour and 20-ish minutes before our reservation at Old Ebbett Grill. And as we are walking, here is a World War I memorial. It's really neat, they have all these, ooh, that wind, memorials around. 
look at the view though of these buildings in the background. John J. Pershing. Now across the street is the White House Visitor Center, which the White House is just right through those trees. We walked by yesterday this building next to the White House, which was the Treasury Department. So it looks like that's the backside of the Treasury Department. Over in the background, you've got the Washington Monument, and we're gonna cross over here to go to the White House and look at it. Of course, no one's getting through there unless uh, you've got some good credentials, but we're heading up here to this little statue. What do we have here? Might be the Civil War. Backside of the Treasury Department there. And of course, at Christmas time, you have the National Christmas Tree, which goes right there. And then here's the backside of the White House. Right here we have the point of measurement for Washington DC. So when you say Washington DC, here's the point right next to the White House. And we just saw one of the snipers up there walking around on the roof. And here is the back side of the, or front side, or side of the Eisenhower Executive Building we walked by yesterday. Back out in front of the White House today. It's always just cool to walk by it and see it. Got a dog out in front. Dog's fired up, ready to go. Of course, it's a Secret Service dog. It's cool to see like the West Wing and then the East Wing. Pretty cool. All right, now we're gonna head to the old Ebbett Grill and do a separate video of that. So the Treasury Department's right here, old. Ebbett Grill is right there. And we are currently on 15th Street and Pennsylvania Avenue. That is a pretty good one for sure. Really windy. All right, we just finished Old Ebbett Grill. So now we are walking to the Metro and we're gonna go to the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History, which will also be a separate video. I just love checking out all of these buildings. Still just a cold one today. Now at this metro station, they do have some gifts. We just got off at the Smithsonian Metro stop. So it should be good to go. Well, that was easy. Now we have uh, Smithsonian right here, the Museum of Natural History. I think we'll go ahead and pause the video here and pick up after we get out of here. So we just finished at the Museum of Natural History. We're gonna kind of walk around. Our next food reservation is at six o'clock and it's called Matchbox Pen Quarters, which is like a pizza place. If we keep walking this way, you can get to the National Archives Museum, which we're gonna try to do tomorrow. FBI building and downtown is that way. We're gonna go ahead and walk by the FBI building real fast. Here you have it. Here's the Hoover FBI building. That's pretty cool. There's the view of the Capitol building. And again, the J. Edgar Hoover FBI building. We have made it to East Street. Here's the Hard Rock Cafe. And if we go down this way, we can find the place that we're eating, which I mentioned was the Matchbox restaurant at Penn Quarters. I guess Penn Quarters is the area it's in. And uh, we're not super hungry, but we are gonna get some pizza to try some Washington pizza here. And that'll be a separate video as well. And then the goal is to finish, we have a reservation for six o'clock. It's a little before then, it's like, I don't know, 5.15. 
Uh, the place did not seem like it was busy today. When I looked online for other reservations, they had a lot of openings. So we are going to try to get in a little early because apparently uh, the president's helicopter, he's gonna land on the south lawn here at like 650. So it'd be cool to um, finish up here and then go see the helicopter land because I have never seen any president in person nor the helicopter landing at the White House. We just left Matchbox and now we are heading toward the White House to see if we can see Biden's helicopter land. That'd be something. Now we are walking by the Smithsonian Art Museum. If you aren't familiar with DC, the Smithsonian Institution has multiple museums down here. So we've been to a couple of them. We won't be able to go to all of them today. I mean, there's so many of them, but there's, uh, they're all free. There, uh, there's some fun ones to go in. Now, Tamara and I have seen our fair share of basketball arenas, and up over here is the Capital One Arena where the Washington Wizards play. It's right here, right by the art museum. They do have a Tesla shop over here, and then we're just gonna go to the entrance of Chinatown and then just head over to the White House. Not sure if we will really get to it this trip, but right down there you can see is Chinatown. That's a pretty cool entrance to Chinatown. We'll have to come back sometime and do a little bit more of it. Crossing the road and you can see the entrance to it. That's pretty cool. And then we also have a church right there. Also walking by the Tesla store. Never seen a Tesla store before. I know they have some in Florida, but never been by one this is kind of unique oh look they've got oh there's Louis Vuitton this must be the fancy shopping here yeah that's that's nice heading to the White House now I will say they have the longest crosswalks here I've ever seen that was 64 seconds to cross the road I do like the buildings down here though they're pretty nice look at this pretty building here on the corner Wow, there's quite a bit of parking garages down here, which is nice. And then there is a Walgreens here. Kind of came full circle. There's the International Trade Center. So just keep going this way back to the White House. Now it's currently 641. It says online he's scheduled to land at 650. So hopefully we made it here and he's not already here yet. It's pretty cool seeing the Secret Service police cars, but there's quite a bit of people gathered here. So maybe they all are waiting too. I also wanted to make note that this is not by any means going to be a political video, no political comments. We are simply in Washington trying to see something we've never seen before, yep. which, is That's where we'll leave it. which is any president. We've never seen any president in person. So here's the view we have. Um, should be coming in anytime. Good group of congregated people around waiting on the same thing here. Somebody was just walking right here and one of the Secret Service people said, get out of the walkway. <laughs> Starting to get dark, but the lights are coming on now. This might give us a good chance to see the monuments at nighttime though. So what we've decided on, it's almost 7.30. These planes fly out every like 30 seconds. It had stopped for about 20 minutes. We think maybe he landed at Joint Base Andrews. So they grounded flights. Now they're waiting for him to get on the helicopter so flights are going again that's the best we can think of because it's almost 7 30 now hopefully we're getting close nice sunset with the monuments starting to get light it's on them keeping an eye on the planes leaving and we haven't seen one in a little bit so i'm hoping it's almost time there's some potential i don't think you can see but right right there some potential and no planes have um taken off yet so there's some potential Either that or it's a meteor. It's a shooting star. Well, scratch that, a plane just took off. White House is looking good at nighttime here. It's pretty cool to see the monument here at nighttime. There has not been a plane leave in just a little bit, so maybe this is time. So it is 7.50, it's been an hour, and uh, no planes have left in quite a time, so there should be, Never mind. scratch that, here goes a plane. We are officially the last ones here. It's not looking promising for us. 
we keep saying, oh, that's him, that's him, but uh, nothing yet. Well, it's pretty cool to see these at nighttime, but I think we're going to call it because we've been here a long time and no sign. All right, I guess we'll call it for tonight. We have no sign of a helicopter coming in. One last look at the Waldorf Astoria, which used to be the old post office. Very pretty at nighttime. All right, I think we're going to call day two. Unfortunately, we waited out there a very long time. Last one's there. So next time, maybe we get to see a president land or just see a president but uh had a fun day today ford theater was good of course that's another video it's fun just walking around down here mm -hmm. so far we've really enjoyed it Mine's cold. it's cold today but it's supposed to be better tomorrow back to good weather so looking forward to that with that being said that does it for today thanks for watching